Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now I'm going to go over an outline about an upcoming operation that will be led by the U.S. Army Special Operations Command, which has under that the uh, U.S. Navy SEALs, Air Force Commandos, Green Berets, Delta Force, 82nd Airborne, Marine Expeditionary Fighting Forces. This will be a large-scale operation on American soil. Let's take a look at what that means. I'm here to talk about a massive military drill that will be conducted on American soil from July 15th to September 15th of this year. U.S. Army Special Operations Command calls this operation Jade Helm 1-5. The logo for this operation has a shoe standing on cross arrows over a sword that says, Master the Human Domain. This shocking operation is about a brutal martial law takeover of what SOCOM calls hostile states. Both Texas and Utah have been painted red. In the legend, it states that red is a hostile area. Now, why is the federal government calling Utah and Texas hostile? Is it because we are awake to the tyranny in Washington? Or is it because we're pro-gun patriots who love the Constitution? We know that large portions of the military come from these two states, and our government has clearly come out and stated that returning vets are its number one threat. Operation Jade Helm 1-5 will be conducted over eight weeks to train U.S. Army Special Forces, Navy SEALs, Air Force Special Ops, and USMC Special Ops, along with my old unit, the 82nd Airborne. Now, these troops will be preparing for unconventional warfare. Unconventional warfare consists of activities conducted to go after a resistance movement or insurgency. This is a straight-up, in-your-face training to target American citizens who are part of this fast-growing liberty movement. They aren't playing around, people. They know that constitutionalists will stand up. They see us as a threat to their powerhouse. They know that Texas could break away and become its own. That's why they are coming here. They are saying this operation will be conducted in Texas because Texans support military operations. Yeah, we support military. Men and women who go after the bad guys, not when it's American citizens. They're trying to force vaccines on us. They're trying to take our guns, and they want to ban the ammo. They're making moves to prepare for a complete and total takeover. We need to wake up. Right in the SOCOM document, it clearly states that operations will be conducted outside of government-owned land. This means your backyard, people. They say this exercise will be used to hone advanced skills with low populations with access to the towns. They will be operating in and out around the communities where anything out of the ordinary will be spotted and reported. They say this is an opportunity to work with civilians to gain their trust and have an understanding of the issues. David Knight and I went and showed you the Asymmetric Warfare Training Center at Fort AP Hill in Virginia. That was a large martial law training facility. This was like a small urban town to scale with a subway, church, mosque, soccer field, torture chambers, traffic circles, stoplights, and so much more. And there's also another one in North Carolina that is used by the Marines. You know, in the military, they say you train how you fight, and you also train in areas similar to the theater of your operation. These urban warfare sites that look like rural America keep popping up all across our country, and now they want to actually bring one to a real community with people. This is not a mock setup. This is a real town. Now, residents, don't be alarmed if you see an increase in aircraft activity. It's just 1,200 special operations troops blazing overhead in helicopters. They say that this increased aircraft activity will be at nighttime. Now, what happens at nighttime, you might ask? Well, me being a former Army vet of both Iraq and Afghanistan, I can tell you one thing, that the special forces do snatch and grabs at nighttime. This is what they're trying to do. They're trying to de desensitize the public. They want you guys, the sheep that aren't out there paying attention, to get so used to this military occupation happening here in the states. The war is not with the Russians. The war is not with uh, ISIS. The war is here at home. The enemy is red, white, and blue. It's people who like the Constitution. It's people who are pro-gun. It's the people who are returning veterans. It's the people who actually care about what it means to be an American. And it also states that some individuals, i.e. the operators, may be conducting suspicious activity designed to prepare them for complex environments. Um, what complex environment? You mean America? Um, yeah, I think that would be a very complex environment if the government tries to turn the military on its own citizens. They are already conducting operations in Utah right now at this very instance. The U.S. Army soldiers from the 202 Military Intelligence Battalion are conducting scenarios based source operations and mounted and dismounted surveillance training in Salt Lake City. This is a complete and total psyop, plain and simple.
It's right here. We've given you the document. Read it over, share it, and pass it on. Well, I hope you learned something from this. I hope you are more awake to the PSYOP that is going on with this Jade Helm 1-5 operation. I hope that you see this video, you take the information in, and you share it with other people. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you never-before-seen footage of Obama Deception 2 that shows how government-run PSYOPs in other countries are now being implemented here at home. You have been warned. The creeping mind control psychological warfare operation that has been underway for so long in America and has reached new and incredible heights under Obama. They've been manipulated. They've been brainwashed by scientific systems of control. We are also requesting that your team of advisors include a senior officer who is thoroughly experienced in uh, psychological operations. Very well, sir. I think we can provide you with an expert on the subject. In the past 20 years or so, more than 50 Pentagon psychological warfare training films have been released. These were previously classified. And watching them, you realize that all of these technologies have been brought home against the American people. To establish the target audiences for any military psychological operations, all functional groups must be checked, and their reaction to the military establishment determined. Yo, yo can you get that camera off of us, sir? Sir, can you get the United States, States first All right, but he could get that camera. I'm saying get the camera out of my face. That's no, no. what I'm saying. You're on the streets of New York. It's so what country. does that mean? I'm saying get that camera out no, of my face. That's no, what I'm saying. It's a free country. Hey, what the fuck wrong with it's a free people, country. Man. Get this damn camera out of my face. Oh, this isn't Nazi Germany. There's no camera in your oh, face. My God. Hey, move to Russia. Okay? Yo, Zog. Zog. We can have cameras on the streets. I said, get it out of your my face. Your guy starts cussing at us. I said, get it out of my face. That's what I'm saying. It was never in your face. Are you crazy, man? We're just walking down the street. Teachers. Writers and publishers. Farmers. And religious leaders. NSKSLA News 12 Jeff Farrell discovered the clergy would help the government with potentially their biggest problem, us. Gun confiscation is exactly what happened during the state of emergency following Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. U.S. troops also arrived, something far easier to do even now thanks to last year's elimination of the 1878 Posse Comitatus Act. That forbid U.S. troops from policing on American soil. Easing public fears and quelling dissent would be critical. And that's exactly what the clergy response team, as it's called, helped accomplish in New Orleans. We interrupt our regular programming for this special report. Reports of possible illegal activity by a local militia group appears to have spurred law enforcement into action. John Gleason has our story. This is the scene of an intensive investigation into the operations of an extremist group reportedly planning a series of terrorist attacks on U.S. cities. Details are sketchy, but allegedly the militia was using this house to store a cache of military weapons. A hazmat unit is now inside the house searching for evidence, while behind me are other local fire and hazmat teams. The FBI is here, as well as other agencies. Earlier today, police raided the house and arrested two men on charges of illegal possession of firearms, but they apparently found more than they were bargaining for. Propaganda is material that is not concerned with, with the facts, uh, that in fact will have, that, that, that bears no relation to the facts, and that there would be no um, expectation that what, what the information is putting out is true. They're actually taking statements made by the U.S. government and by these corporations, and sometimes airing them in their entirety. So there's not much of a filter or a watchdog filter going on. They're just taking whatever these officials are telling them and throwing that on air, and that's not journalism. Journalism involves actually taking the statements these individuals say, investigating them to see if they're true, and then coming to a conclusion and printing that for the public. Fake news and fake newscast is the essence of 
brainwashing. It was a press conference without the press and with softball questions uh, lobbed in. Are you, are you happy with FEMA's response so far? I'm very happy with FEMA's response so far. Sure looks real, but those people asking the questions at a FEMA media briefing Tuesday weren't reporters. They were FEMA employees. Can you address a little bit what it means to have the president uh, issue an emergency uh, declaration as opposed to uh, a major disaster declaration? We're about to have a short course in missile identification. This is a Scud. You can tell it by its distinctive label. Now, when the missile is launched, the first thing you look for is the plume sticking out behind it. Now, when you detect this, you can tell it's been launched. Thank you. Yeah, show me graffiti. It's important to note that for many of you that have been awake for a long time, this propaganda seems childish, ham-fisted. Remember, it's targeting unconscious people that are not aware of the PSYOP. When we awaken people to the manipulation, then they're able to figure out what's happening. So it's important not to laugh at the victims of this system. <laughs>of the Constitution. We know that large portions of the military come from these two states, and our government has clearly come out and stated that returning vets are its number one threat. Operation Jade Helm 1-5 will be conducted over eight weeks to train U.S. Army Special Forces, Navy SEALs, Air Force Special Ops, and USMC Special Ops, along with my old unit, the 82nd Airborne. Now, these troops will be preparing for unconventional warfare. The has a shoe standing on cross arrows over a sword that says, Master the Human Domain. This shocking operation is about a brutal martial law takeover of what SOCOM calls hostile states. Both Texas and Utah have been painted red, and the legend it states that red is a hostile area. Now, why is the federal government calling Utah and Texas hostile? Is it because we're awake to the tyranny in Washington? Or is it because we're pro-gun patriots who... Air Force Commandos, Green Berets, Delta Force, 82nd Airborne, Marine Expeditionary Fighting Forces. This will be a large-scale operation on American soil. Let's take a look at what that means. I'm here to talk about a massive military drill that will be conducted on American soil from July 15th to September 15th of this year. U.S. Army Special Operations Command calls this operation Jade Helm 1-5. The logo for this operation... Joe Biggs here with InfoWars.com. Now I'm going to go over an outline about an upcoming operation that will be led by the U.S. Army Special Operations Command, which has under that the uh, U.S. Navy SEALs. Air Unconventional warfare consists of activities conducted to go after a resistance movement or insurgency. This is a straight-up, in-your-face training to target American citizens who are part of this fast-growing liberty movement. They aren't playing around, people. They know that constitutionalists will stand up. They see us as a threat to their powerhouse. They know that Texas could break away and become its own. That's why they are coming here. They are saying this operation...